Teleportation by Black Squares is for to win. Hello there, everybody. This is Siwap Clan One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess. So, last time, well, we finished up the city in the sky, of course, and we got our final mirror shard. Huzzah! But before we leave, though, uh, oh wait, oh wait, there's a treasure chest I forgot. Unbelievable! Out of all the treasure chests I forgot, it's this one that I forget. Wonderful. I was gonna go back to check on the, the, the Uka guys, but... Whoopsie doops, I can't do that. <laughs> well, now I can't, but actually I can, because I can do whatever the heck I want. Jeez. And, wow, my... My gamepad is acting really, really weird in terms of, like... Uh, you know, movement and stuff, because the screen is moving all over the place, man. I don't know how that is, but apparently it is. Huh. This is just strange. This is news to me. Thank you so much, Adventura! Goodness, you have done so much for us, Adventura! I hope you'll come see us again soon, Adventura! Yeah, whenever I complete a new game. Jeez. Otherwise, I'll never have to see you again. Either way, enough about time wasting. Um, so in order to get back down to the surface, all you need to do is just claw shot up there, and there we go. You're back all the way to your place. Boosh. Jeez. You think you would think that Link would be able to survive that, but fortunately, he does. Yeah, just like that, he survives. Yeah, it's a good thing that, well, puddles of water are there, because otherwise that would mean a big jerk award for that. <laughs> um, anyway, um, now what I want to do is, now that we have the double claw shots, we can do some other things too. So, first order of business is to, well, of course, go to Castle Town. Because... Well, why not? We haven't been there in a while, so we might as well go ahead and go there, because there is stuff for us to do there. Who knows if, we'll, if it will be helpful or not? It probably won't, but it will. Well, knowing our luck. Knowing our luck, it will. Huzzah! Mailman person! Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna tell you like it is. Here's your mail from two peoples, and I'll be off. Never bother me again, sir. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, now let's check to see what we got. Uh, first of all, we got a letter from Perlo. Hey, what's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, the Star Game has now swept Hyrule by storm is now available in Castle Town. Even those of you who have beaten it once will find all new challenges and thrills. Come find us in a tent on the Eastgate Road. We'll be waiting! So we gotta do another Star Game Challenge. Yep, that's what we have to do. And finally, we have this letter from Junia. Okay. Wow, kid! Awesome! Huh? My son wanted to said that he wanted to th write you a letter, so he worked so hard on it. <laughs> he worked so hard on it, my mind right out dropped down three inches. <laughs> Goodness, yes! We thank you for all your help, both on the land and the sky. The other Uka, thank you as well. Come visit us anytime. Take care. Never. I don't want to. I don't want to visit you because you guys are just strange to me. <laughs> yes, you guys are strange. And I probably won't ever visit you for as long as I possibly will live. But who cares? At least we got crap done, right? Jeez. But anyway, uh, about that letter Perlo sent us, there is now a new challenge for us, so we might as well go ahead and do that now. That we have the chance. Oh, yeah. oh, fine day! I waited you, good sir! The Star Game created with you in mind, good sir. It's a special arena that costs 15 rupees a shot. Dare to try it? Maybe. Many thanks, good sir. The game will begin as soon as you enter a cage. May chance favor you! Hehehe. <laughs> Good sir, are you ready? Oh, then away we go! 
At least he's catching on to my drift. I like to call everybody good sir. <laughs> anyway, this is our game. Now that we have the double claw shots, it is now, quote unquote, a little bit harder. Because you're basically going to be using double claw shots to get all these little pearl thingamabobs all around the place. You know, because why not? And I think you have to do these in a little bit of a set order. Just so, well, you know, you can get yourself some ground as to where you think you might go in terms of everything. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go from over here and go from there. And we have to go over here, I guess. Or not, there's actually another one. Okay. So, let's do that. And I think we're almost done here, actually. Unless I'm mistaken, though. So basically, you just gotta grab these last three, and there we go. Oh, yeah. Actually, there. What the? You did it? Oh, what a magnificent day this is! The debut of a superstar, blah blah blah, we've heard this all before. But what we haven't gotten before... ...is the giant quiver, so now we can hold up to 100 arrows! Congratulations! Yes, well and truly, you have claimed what you sought, and you are likely all through, hmm? Many thanks for playing, good sir. Don't come again. <laughs> well, it's not like anyone else would have double claw shots at this point. Jeez. I mean, who else but Link has these sort of things at his disposal, huh? No one. Because... I don't know, but still. Link has these at his disposal, and you should feel proud of him for doing so. <sighs> but anyway. Um... There's really nothing else that we can do, but... You know, do, do, do you remember that place where I sequence broke to get that, um... Uh, 100 rupee chest? Well... Normally what you would normally do is... Well, normally what you would normally do... That, I'm sounding redundant as hell. Um, what you would normally do here is, uh... Yeah. God. <laughs> what you would normally do... Is, well, you would have to use your double claw shots in order to reach down there. So, I might as well show you the normal way of doing it, since people like to be boring like that and not be awesome like me in sequence break because of that. So, you're supposed to go down all the way over there using the hug shots. And, you're supposed to claw shot your way all the way over here. To the chest so you can open it to get your orange rupee and such. But... There's also another thing that we can do now that we have the double claw shots. And this is actually somewhat important for you to getting 100%. So, let's go ahead and warp over to Kakuyuko Gorge to do that sort of thing. Um, just a fair warning, um, this video might be a little bit short. Because what I'm mainly going to be doing here is a little bit of extra stuff here. So, yeah. I might as well be doing that. So, anywho, um, now what you, what you want to do is, you want to go over here to this spot, where you can see that we have these claw shot targets here. And I killed you because I feel like it. Um, if you recall, this is one of the places where we got, um, a heart piece from before using the Gale Boomerang. However, now that we have the double claw shots, we can now actually mosey along over here. So we can use our double claw shots to move all the way over here to this spot. Yeah! Speedrunning! I is good at it. Because I am. Alright, so we drop down from there. And if you go over here, you'll find a piece of heart. So until our next dungeon, we don't have to worry about any more pieces of heart for now. So that is a very, very good thing that we need to do. Um, I'm trying to think, what else is there to do? Because I don't want this video to run too short. But, you know what? I tried this once before, I might as well try again. So, you know what? I'm gonna go back to my home. To see what is a... a blah, blah, blah. <laughs> God. Am I not sounding great today or what? Jeez. Hmm. And I actually I should consider myself lucky that my Wemo and Nunchuck are working. Because well bef well before recording before this particular recording, um 
I was a bit of a derp because, well, I accidentally spilled my drink of water, like half of my drink of water, all over, all over the place where I keep all my wires and such. That includes, um, both my Wiimotes and nunchucks, my headset, well, not really my headset, my headset actually survived, and actually, let me see if I, let me see if I'm actually, got, yeah, yeah, my headset is still functional, so that is a very, very good thing. And, uh, also, I'm kind of worried that my wires won't work anymore, and one of those wires I need to back up my work onto my hard drive and such. So, uh, yeah, that really sucked. Mm. But regardless, my Wiimotes still work okay, um, my nunchucks still work okay. Um, my headset still works okay, thank god. So, I won't have to go on my way to get another one this weekend. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I might as well show you right now. Ow. Jeez. Why did I not figure out that you could actually go over here and try to tap to the... No, not tap to the... Uh, try to pick up the goats from here and they would throw you off like that. And it won't hurt, like, a million times over and... I just spit out a bubble. What the hell? <sighs> well, whatever the case. Whatever the case. Well, I see the dude's still here. Um. Uh, I know I didn't... I, I think I pretty much know that I didn't show this. But, uh... The postman appears at, at like, various locations across the world. Like, he appears at Thomas Bar. He appears, like, in the stable there. He also appears um, a little bit of somewhere, but I don't know where. But either way, I seem to have missed... I have seem to have majorly missed out on an event, actually. You know that thing I was trying to show up before, but I failed spectacularly? But, yeah. Anyway, uh, that daughter of mine finally got round to send me a letter my way. Reading it, it sounds like she's so lonely that she couldn't bring herself to send one until now. Or something like that. I don't know. It still, it still looks like she forgot about her old pot to me. What do you think, Link? Well, I think it's a lot more than, than what you think, sir. I mean, shoot. Why the heck, why the heck wouldn't anything be a thing? I don't know. <sighs> I just don't know. Anyway, um... We could go ahead and go to the mirror chamber right now to see what the mirror twilight holds for us. But I have another thing that we could do. And it's one thing I'm not looking forward to. I'm not looking forward to this at all in my next recording. <sighs> well, all of you have pretty much known this game, who have known this game, will know what I'm talking about. So, if you recall, we removed a piece of the Bridge of Elden to back to its original place here. But, what, what it left behind was an entrance. Well, that little bit of an entrance is where I'm going to be spending a, about an hour. Because... Well, in that entrance right there, is the entrance to the Cave of Ordeals. Oh boy. Well, I might as well briefly explain it while I'm basically here just moving around and such. Um, the Cave of Ordeals is basically like, um, have you ever played, uh, Paper Mario 2 or Super Paper Mario? And the Pit of a Hundred Trials and such? Think of it like that, actually. 50 floors of the Cave of Ordeals, each 10 of them you'll get a certain reward. And the reason why I don't didn't go here before is that, well, I didn't have the, the following items. I didn't have the spinner, I didn't have the ball and chain, I didn't have the dominion rod, and I most certainly didn't have the double claw shots. So, only after getting the double claw shots will you be allowed to fully explore the Cave of Ordeals. Technically, you can go here without all these items. You just need the spinner in order to just, you know, enter. 
but you won't be able to explore the cave fully until you get all of the items from the item temples from Arbiter's Ground, Snow Peak Ruins, Temple of Time, and City in the Sky, so... Yeah. And of course, you want to be prepared as all hell, because... Well, the Cave of Ordeals, you have no rest. No saving point. If you save while in the Cave of Ordeals, you have to start all over from the beginning. And of course, if you die, you have to start all the way over from the beginning again. So... Yeah. You're gonna be in for a hell. But fortunately, and I do promise you this, I will be able to get the Cave of War deals done within two videos. That's what I'm planning, at least. If it doesn't fall through, or if it takes too long for at least one part, because, well, I'm basically going to do half and half. One part of the Cave of War deals and the other half in the next video. But, I don't know how this is going to go over. Um, if I have to split it into thirds, I pretty much have to. I pretty much will have to do that, then. Well, pray for me, kids. Pray for me. Next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we're going through the Cave of Ordeals. Oh, man. Get ready for experiencing hell! <laughs> okay. Alright, so see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Again, hashtag pray for me.